Hello subscribers, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am back with a new video. Today I will let you know 5 amazing Excel tricks that will make you advance in Excel. So let's get started. So here we have the data set of sales. We have reason, then sales amount, then status, then manager and month. So what I want, my first trick is I just want to convert this sales amount to million. So how we can convert this, we can simply select the range. Then we can use shortcut that is control one to format these cells. I can use control one. Now I will directly move to this control one format cells feature. I can go to this custom and here we can use one code. So what is the code? Here we can use hash, then two times comma, then point, or then we can use double zero and then space in double quote we will type m and press enter now we have all the values in millions like 1.25 million so this is how we can convert this now i'm just moving to next trick that is what i want i want to create a drop down in this range as completed or pending for status so how we can create the drop down we can select the range then we can go to data tab and we can click on data validation. If I click on this, I will get one dialog box. Simply we can choose here list and we can type in source completed, completed, comma, and then we can type pending. And press OK and you will get the drop down. Simply now we can choose all the drop downs. So simply I can drag this down just for fast completion of this. Now I'm just moving to next trick. What is the next trick? Next trick is I want to create different sheets for different reason data. For different reason data I want to create different sheets. So this is my next trick. So how we can do this? We can simply select the data set. Then we can go to this insert tab and we can click on pivot table and now I will get the pivot table on new sheet. I will add the different data set here like what I want. I will add this reason to filter section. Then I will add this month to row section manager in below of this month. And after this, I will add the sales amount. Now, what I want to create, I want to create for different reason, different sheet. Now what we can do, we can go to this pivot table analyze tab and here we have options. Now we can click on show report filter pages. If I click on this, I will get directly this dialog box. We can simply select this reason and click on OK. Now with the help of this, we have central sheet. Then we have east sheet, north sheet, south sheet, west sheet all the data set are in different sheet by using this amazing feature that is show report filter pages so this is i can simply say the best trick of this video now i'm just moving to next trick what is the next trick next trick is i just want to create a message box and also i want to create a button so if you want to create a button to showcase one message box here how we can do this we need here developer tab so for developer tab what you can do you can go to file you can click on options then we can go to customize ribbon in customize ribbon in the right side you have the developer tab you can simply check this option if it is not checked and click on ok you will get the developer tab option now what i want i want to create one Message box. So how we can create that? Simply if you want to create message box, you can go to Visual Basic. And now you can go to insert and click on module. And here we can start the sub procedure. You can start with SUB and then you can give the title message box. Open bracket, close bracket. You can give any title. Right now I've just given the message box as a title. And now we can start this message msgbox space and now in double quote we can type our message welcome to sales data 
space. So this is the message box that what I want to showcase. Now if I will run this, I will get the same message box. Welcome to sales database. Now I just want to integrate this, integrate with this button with one button. So we can go to developer tab, we can go to insert, we have button, we can drag and create a button and then we can assign the macro. So what is the macro I want to assign? The message box, message box module we want to assign. We can click on OK. Now on this button too, even we can change this button to as. Click here. So now if I click on this, I will get the same message box. So this is how you can create the message box. Now the last trick is what I just want to highlight the sales amount if it is greater than 1.5 million. So how we can highlight we can simply select the range. We can go to home tab. We have conditional formatting and highlight cell rules. We can select and then we can click on this greater than and what I want here. I want to highlight what I want to highlight if it is greater than 1.5 million if I click on okay like all, all are not okay we have the scenarios that are greater than so I will just check again greater than so what what we can do in this part we have to define here the correct number like this 1.5 million means 15 lakhs right so if I click on okay now we are getting the highlights. It is just a formatting. That's why we are not able to type there also as 1.4 million. Not like that. We can type full number. Then we will get the correct scenario. So hope you find this video useful and you like all the tricks that we have covered in this video. And if you have any doubt related to Excel, you can do comment and I will definitely provide you the solution for that. And if you want this practice sheet also, you can download from description. I will provide this link in description. Thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned.